In this video, we are discussing about how to transfer a file from remote server to uh, a local system using a SCP command. SCP, a secure copy, is a command line utility that allows you to securely copy files from uh, directories between two locations. Uh, with SCP, you can copy a file from directory, and that is from your local system to remote system, and uh, from your remote system to your local system, and between two remote system to your local systems. Uh, while transferring data with SCP, both the files and uh, passwords are encrypted, uh, so that anyone can snooping on the traffic and uh, doesn't get anything sensitive. So let's we start with this uh, uh, example. I will explain you with this tutorial. Mm, so uh, this is the common syntax. This SCP, then the option and the uh, uh, host location and the destination location. Host that is source location and the destination location. Then option. Option uh, is uh, said to be uh, a, a such as cipher or a such configuration or a such port limit and recursive copy. And uh, user XRC uh, host file source one is the source file and the next is the uh, destination file. And if you look in for that um, uh, more to that options, um, SCP provides a number of options that control every aspects of the behavior. The most likely options are. Uh, minus p specified that remote host or SSH, SSH port and minus small p preserves file modification and access times and minus q uh, explains that uh, options which we want to suppress the progress meter and uh, non error messages and capital minus c options force SCP to compress the data as it's sent to that destination machine and minus uh, 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 option is minus r which is uh, used to send a copy the directory recursively for example if you want to send a file you don't need to use this minus r option if you want to send a directory or folder you just need to use this minus r option so uh, before you begin you can see uh, this is the same common syntax which we need to uh, that is uh, options source okay, that is a source location and that uh, destination locations so if you uh, we can go through one example that is uh, uh, we're using uh, copying one directory to uh, from lock, uh, remote server to our local so let's we have that example so this is the example which we have uh, remote server from uh, copying a data from a folder from uh, remote server to our uh, location that is home Lenovo you server files so uh, this is the uh, my this is the uh, folder that is ts account reporting is a folder that's why we are using the minus r uh, for uh, this is the ssh server so i'm just copying uh, that file to our local in the local the server file is empty so there is nothing in that server file so when i just entering and i am and after that i'm giving the password when i'm logging in uh, we can see that by step by step each files in that module is uh, copying to our local system so this is the thing it's copying from one by one and when we look after the uh, fold empty folder you can see that the ts secondary report is available so yeah here the series secondary report is available that server for in the server files so when you open that the files is there the next thing which we have to do is uh, we, that is this is the common syntax that is sudo minus rp scp minus r that is source location and that is the server location to our local uh, next thing which we are going to do is um, which is we just need to copy that uh, file from our local to uh, uh, server that is copying our local file from local to server so uh, for that uh, in, in i'm just copying the same folder to the new uh, destination in that ssh server so i'm opening that terminal from here and i'm just uh, typing the sudo minus r uh, the module name then the destination location so uh, ssh root at uh, uh, that part and to that uh, uh, folder so uh, for best, better understanding i'm just creating a new folder in the ssh files uh, so ssh server so the file name should be i'm just changing to that uh, currently it's the uh, custom error so i'm just changing that uh, that's neat uh, that will be the better so i'm just changed it uh, created a new file that is an empty file named the custom files 
and when you uh, look into that uh, custom files you can see that there is nothing in that custom files i'm just opening that and uh, i'm just typing that ls you can see that nothing is here it's an empty folder so next i'm going to do is entering that and entering the password after entering that password and as the same way the file each individual file is copying one by one and after copy you can see here in the uh, custom files and the uh, remote server you can see that uh, ts account report file is copied here it's copied as well and that uh, this is the thing which we are copying this from uh, one by one and next which is uh, the colon which is using to in the uh, command is to in the cp to distinguish the local and remote locations if you are able to copy the files you must have to uh, at least the read permission on the source file and the write permission of the target system and you need to careful while copying file with the same name and location it will be overwrite your file without the warning next which we are going to test is uh, uh, using one port that transferring our, our file using to specific port that is that's why we are using the capital minus p that the port that file name and the source location and the destination that is the uh, source and destination locations and these are destination locations the uh, minus p which is uh, using for that port and uh, this is the port number two three double two is the port number and the file location and the destination location and uh, if ssh is on the remote host is listening on the port other than uh, it is a default as 22 the default fault uh, in the ssh is uh, 22 if you want to that specific you can give that minus p two three double to the file uh, file name then that thing destination location and then when you click that enter it will go to that so the next thing uh, if you want to copy a directory you just need to add a, a minus r flag for recursive so to copy the directory from local to remote system you just need to add the minus r, minus r only so if you did that you can copy that file the next thing which we just need to explain i'm going to explain is that to copy a file from two remote systems before that i just need to inform you if you copy a file from remote to local system use remote location as source and local location as the destinations so this is the thing and next i'm just going to uh, explain is copy a file between two remote uh, system using this scp connections so i'm just going to do that i'm just deleting this and i'm just removing this uh, code after that only i can uh, do that but if you have set that as password uh, passwordless ssh login uh, to the remote machine you will be asked for to enter that user password and just uh, remove that and this is the uh, syntax for copying a file between two remote systems between using the SCP command unlike rsync uh, when using SCP you don't have to log into one of the servers to transfer the file from one uh, one to another remote machine this is the thing this uh, user one is hosted user two is the destination location so this is the uh, format for copying uh, between two uh, within the remote systems that that is if it is a local or if it is a server if you want to copy this from uh, one server location to another server location you can uh, do that so this is the format and the ne next thing is you are just want to uh, do is uh, if you want to uh, if you have one uh, problem that is uh, if you have a root traffic on the machine which is command is issue you can just use that uh, minus 3 to hit this that is uh, we have some uh, traffic uh, root traffic through the machines when which command is issued and something like that you just want to do one thing is after SCP uh, you just have to uh, do only one thing that is adding the minus 3 to it this is how to use the cp command to copy files and directories thank you